All right, well, Squirtle recently released a new game mode called Squirtle XL. Now, it's kind of funny because we had Squirtle, and then we had Squirtle XXL, and now we're kind of going backwards to Squirtle XL. But this one is pretty different. You know, XXL was a bigger grid, but this one is, uh, of course, a bigger grid as well. That's why it's XL. But it's six-letter words, and so because it's an even number, you can't just nicely have it skip all the things like you can with five and seven-letter words. So we actually have sort of rows and columns next to each other. Now, there's these wider gaps here just to kind of indicate that this isn't supposed to be a two-letter word right here, these four spots here. Um, I, I think it'll be interesting. I'm not used to doing six-letter words, so that's going to be a little bit tricky. But, yeah, we're just gonna go for it and see what happens. I don't believe this is a daily mode. I think this is just a free play thing for now. So, I don't know if it'll become a daily or not. But I believe if you go and play, you'll get different words than I'm gonna get here. Um, what would be good? You know, I like to start with store. We could do stored. Yeah, sure. Why not? Okay. Well, that was a good start. Alright. Uh, and then, you know, all the clues and everything works the same way as normal Squirtle. So we're on the third row here. Now what's interesting is we're gonna go first, third, fourth, sixth for our rows and columns. So that's a little unusual. We do have an O in the row here, nothing for the column. Um, there is a yellow and an R, a yellow and a red R pointing that, that could be pointing there. We could also start a word with an R right now, which isn't too bad since there is an R in the row and the column there. That's pretty good. I like that. Uh, what would we do? We could do something like rights. It's not terrible. S is a good letter, and it's going to check the last row and column for those as well. Uh, we know there's a T in the grid somewhere. Sure, let's go for that. Okay. Okay, interesting. So that just continues to point towards an R in the corner here, maybe. We do have, it's either that or there's an R second here. That's the only possibilities for the column. We do have an R in this column. And there is an S in this last row. Okay, so that was good. And it's not at the end. Uh, you're not gonna have an S after the D. So it's probably, I mean, it could be, it could do something like this with an ST. Uh, hmm. You know, we really don't know anything about this fourth row or column at this point, other than things that aren't in it. <laughs> there's no R, there's no G, there's no H. You know, this isn't an I. Uh, we could have an I, but it can't be right there or right here. Uh, we could do, oh, I was gonna do it, say we could do something with an ING at the end, which might be good, but there's no G. Uh, it'd probably be good just to do some new letters, like CL, so we don't want to do, uh, well, we, we, we could still do an O, because there is an O in this row, but we know this one's not an O. So, what if we do, oh, we haven't done an A yet. Okay, let's do an A. Uh, clamps? C, L, A, M, P are all new letters. We know there's an S in this last row. Yeah, why not? Okay. Okay, interesting. There's an S in that row. There's an A up here. Okay, now we're on the last row in column. We know there's a D in the column somewhere. There's an S in the row somewhere. Uh, it's not, In fact, it's not second. It's not gonna be DS. It's not third, it's not fourth. It's not fifth, it's not sixth. I, I think this is almost for sure an S right here. So ST is pretty good. We do need to find a T still. It's not in the first row or column. It's not in, you know, this middle section. It's not third row or column. It could be here. Otherwise it's gotta be, or it could be here. But it's gotta be here one of these four corners of this bottom square. So I really like the T at the end there. I think that's really good. But what are we gonna do? Uh, now, you know, R here wouldn't be terrible. It's an ER. I I'm thinking R at the beginning, but we could have an R at the end as well. And we don't need to guess the D down here. So what if we did R 
something IST or EST. EST is pretty good too. Because what I'm kind of thinking is this could be a T and we could have an, like an N right here. So EST, ENT, those are both pretty good. Uh, we could do rudest. We haven't guessed a U yet. I think that's pretty good. Let's go with that. Okay, wow. That was really good. That was really good. Okay. Uh, rodent. This is going to be rodent, I think. And this is going to be... Ooh, we need an R. This could be an R. D dr uh... No, no, R here and a Y, driest. Driest, the most dry, rodent. We do have ER here. I still think R at the top though. Even with the, the R at the end. Although we could just have an R here. It's possible too. What if we do, what if we did RA? We need to have an A in this row, and then, then what? And then we need to have an S, so this could be an S. Uh, R-A-S, that's pretty good. Something like, uh, what would that be though? Maybe not, maybe not, maybe that doesn't work. If we have an R here, we need to have we do need an S in the column, and it can't be third or first. So second or fourth. And if the S is second, then the R has to be at the beginning, and RS is no good. So I think this is definitely an S. We do have the yellow S here. Now, we need to have a vowel. We can't have an O, we can't have an I. We could have a U, we can't have a U second. We could have a U third. We can have an A. R A then Hmm. I don't know. I I really liked this, but I'm just not sure what that would be. I wanted to say braised, but braised would have an I as well. R A I S E D. Oh, what about what about erased? Erased and this needs to have an Oh, but this needs to have an O, and it's not going to be E-O, it would have to be O there. Ooh, I don't know if I like that. Yeah, I don't, I don't like that, so... Maybe not, maybe not. Now I'm back to thinking R here. And then we could do the O second. That's better. That's better, isn't it? And then, oh, this could be, this could be reused. I was gonna say this could be re-something, reused. That's better. This needs to have an O and an A in it. If it starts with U, it makes me think like un-something, un. But the O's gotta be. On a uh, something odd. On. Uh. Uh, on. Oh, oh, uh, no, no, no. We could do OA together. Like this. Un unload? Can this be an L? Unload. Unload is really good. Okay, and then up here, what's this gonna be? Roll. No, not roller. Row. Ro Romer? Could we have an A? No, we can't have an A there. And we can't do a double O, so it can't be like Rumor or Roofer or something. Rocker, we can't do a C. We could do, we could do Robber. With a double B? It's not terrible. This B, L. So this would have to be a vowel. Can't be an I, can't be a U, can't be an O, can't be an A, it would have to be an E. B... B... Bell... B... Uh, we need an... 
R as well. There's an R. Uh, Belfry. Ooh, that's a good word. Belfry is a good word. I like that. Okay. Okay. And then... Over here. I mean, we don't know much about this one. B something O, and it's not an L. It feels like R, but it can't be an R either. Oh, okay. So what would this be? B something O. Uh, oh, I think a double O. Double O would be good. Bookie, maybe? Can we have an I down here? We need to have an I somewhere. Bookie and oh, mm, F K. I don't, I don't, I don't really like that. Okay, uh, boog, boog, No, we can't do boogie. There's no G. It's like it's got to be B O O, doesn't it? Can't be I. Can't be U. Can't be A. Could be E. E or O, and if it's not one of those, then can't be R or L. I think it's got to be a double O. But then what's? I don't know. All right, let's look at the row here. We've got we've got again very little information. Well, between the S and the F has to be a vowel, right? And it's not an I. It's not a U. Could be an O, can't be an A. It's not an I, U, or A, so it's an O or an E. I don't, I don't I like O better. S O F feels better to me. Soft, softy, and booty. Yeah, and we did. Say, well, we did get the T down here. As I said, we did say we needed a T at one of these four corners of the square down here. It could be a two of them. Okay, I like that. So now we just gotta guess. What? Are, which one do I guess? Robbie or reused? Robber or reused? I should say. And unfortunately, it's the the first four of both of them, so we can't like match up. You know, the first two words of this word with the last two of the one down here, any of that kind of stuff. So uh, let's just do. Let's do the row. Why not? That's right. Very nice. Okay. Now we're on the third. Uh, Let's unload on the softy. Okay, okay, very nice. Uh, and then, well, we can't do both because we need to do the O second for rodent and we need to do the R second for driest. So let's just do driest. And then uh, we're up here at the top and we'll reuse that guess. And then, I mean, Belfry is a very fun word. I really like that. And then we'll end with a rodent. All right. Very nice. First time doing a Squirtle XL, and I ended with six guesses. I feel like that's pretty good, I guess. I don't really know. First time doing it. So if you've tried the XL version, let me know how many guesses you ended up with and what the weirdest word is that you've come across so far. And, you know, which of these words you had figured out way before me and which one you didn't have figured out at all and you were surprised when I guessed it. And of course, be sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you again soon with some more puzzles. Yeah, Kenny said to me, he said, you know the difference between you and me, Al? You live off your paycheck. I live off the land. <laughs> and I said, yeah, that's so true, Kenny. Uh, K with a double E, a double S and a double E. Picked the wrong day to try and do a steptal again. Uh, a Y? A Y? Ooh, now we're getting somewhere. Who would that be? Uh, what about uh, L? Log logical? Logical? That seems like a logical guess. E-file. E-file. Yeah, yeah, that makes a lot more sense. Bit of paperwork is a form. 